There exists an item so powerful that it could make any man in the land of Tamriel into a king. And it's not an Elder Scroll. It's not a Daedra Garden. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. It's not even a magical item at all. It's a carefully crafted item of steel and wood that commands the respect of anyone in a room with it. That item is a gun. Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, who's on his own daring quest against the odds to become the High King of Skyrim. Unfortunately, there are no guns in Skyrim. So Joe uses the closest thing he could get, a crossbow. However, after dying over 30 times during a single quest, he realized he needed some upgrades. Serene Gerard of the Dawnguard can develop upgrades for your crossbow if you complete Radiant quests for her. Although Joe effectively quit the Dawnguard, ignore Serana and the Dawnguard questline completely, he was technically still bound to working for them under contract. So, that meant we could still stop by to speak with Sorene and steal snacks from the break room. But before we headed to Fort Dawnguard, we had some business in Whiterun to attend to. We recently acquired a spell that can summon a long-lost mount back from the dead, which would be very useful seeing as Joe puts more horses on their backs than Mr. Hands. But we were eight magicka short of casting it, so we went to visit the local wizard boy for help. Huh? What? I, <laughs> Belathor? Aw oh, shit, we're under attack. <laughs> We still only have two bolts left. We didn't even get more ammo yet. Oh, shit. Never mind, I'm going inside. Bro, it sucks out here. <laughs> Over here? Over here? What? Jesus, calm, <laughs> calm down. I'm trying to buy some groceries. You guys are acting like there's a dragon attack in the city or something. Everybody just calm down. I think somebody bought Joe a drink, too. Okay, make that another one. You guys, uh, are we gonna do the thing where we just, uh, or just keep buying Joe drinks? Do I need to buy, like, five of these just to make sure? All right, Joe. <laughs> you know what they say. Best way to start a day, a breakfast of eight ales. All right, let's go deal with that dragon now. Hey! <laughs> Come down here, you big lizard. <laughs> I'm looking for a fight. Why am I invisible? Hey, I actually don't think it sees me. Which is fair, because I can't really see it that well. I think Joe is getting his tolerance up. He's actually staying on his feet. Oh, fuck. A younger Joe Joman would pass out instantly upon drinking eight ales. I don't have any arrows to deal with this thing, though. Am I okay? Oh, he's getting up. He's alright. <laughs> Where are the guards? Can somebody shoot this thing? Whatever, I wanted to go talk to Farngar anyways. Oh. <laughs> walk it off, walk it off. <laughs> that is gonna be a nice long <laughs> stumble up the stairs. Calm down, lady. Dragons can't go through doors, alright? Everyone knows that. Unfortunately, Farngar didn't have any enchanted gear that could help us summon our horse. So, we settled for a Flame Atronach spell that would help us level our Conjuration skill. Oh, this guy is still making noise out here. Oh, shit. Oh, step to the, to the right. <laughs> uh, somebody want to come help me with this? <laughs> oh, oh, my bones. Oh, Miko. Yes, and Feindal. My heroes. <laughs> and a glowing orb. What is that? Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Good work, team. Overall, you feel ruined. Oh no, oh, we're the hangover setting in now. We just sobered up from that. <laughs> oh god. Real quick, I gotta hop in here to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch where we film these live. I'd also like to announce that this week I created an official VOD channel, since for some reason all my Twitch VODs are still saving without audio. So until that's fixed, you can see the full VODs over at Whole Milk, where I'll slowly be uploading all of them over the next couple of weeks. Thanks. Now back to any major US city. Oh, holy shit, they really deployed the entire armed forces of Whiterun for this thing. Good work, men. I salute you. Oh shit! Joe, you're gonna drown! Wake up! After our short shopping shenanigans, we grabbed our horse Allie to head for Riften. 
Well, at least we tried to. I thought this was Allie, but the, this is just a random horse that looks like her, but it, I would have to steal to get back. Hey, how old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now, the horse I got for sale is seven years old. But in fine health, she's got a lot of spirit, that one. Alfsiger. Queen Alfsiger, or just Allie for sure? Hey, I already bought that horse. Are you telling me this horse is also seven years old and named Queen Allie? Allie! <laughs> don't you remember me? Look at that blank stare. Oh, don't look away from me, Allie. Turns out, Allie got repoed, which is better than dying, at least. Apparently, those silly little letters the courier gives you are called bills, and you have to pay them. So instead, we took a carriage to Riften and borrowed an unfurnished rental. I hope this doesn't ruin your credit score. Oh, you guys don't even want to see Joe Joman's credit score. Let me tell you, if, if it was golf, he'd be winning. Oh shit, vampire. No, oh my god, why am I running so slow? Joe, put put some pep in your step. All right, Feindall, I need you to do something. All right, what is it? Oh, at attack vampire scout. Not for you, not for anyone. What? Anything else? Feindall, you, you are useless. Look, it's gonna come up and attack us, Feindall. Are you gonna fight it then? Look, it's literally approaching to attack right now. Oh, oh, now you want to fight. After reloading our crossbow, Soarin gave us our first quest location. Ember Shard Mine. Wait, isn't Ember Shard Mine that shitty little iron mine outside of Riverwood that we already cleared before? It is. <laughs> yeah, Ember Shard Mine. Oh, that's a, that's an easy one right there. Oh, we're about to we're about to wipe these wipe the floor with these kids. Sorry, these adults. We're not going to shoot children. They're all um evil adults to be clear. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Oh, it's a normal bandit. We're about to clean house. Don't like the looks of this. What do you mean, Feind? Why are you being such a little baby boy today, Feindall? Hello. I'm here to audit you. Oh my god, yeah, this, this is free. Hello. Well, here's what we came for. The crossbow schematic. Ghost sword, activate! Oh! Oh, shit! Okay, this guy's a lot stronger than the other ones. You guys can take care of him. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Ooh. Dodge? Dodge? Ooh, not even close. Am I getting up the staircase? Oh, who's weak now? Uh, okay, guys, I, I told you, they're, they're not that strong. These guys are still weak. You know how you prove somebody's weak? You see if they fall for the tripwire maneuver. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, he fell for it! Hey, here's the thing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, Conjuration 12. <laughs> Somebody stop him! <laughs> Somebody stop him! <gasps> oh! Wait. Now you're in the Thunderdome, motherfucker! Ooh! Free Conjuration XP, go! Easiest dungeon of my life. I only died, like, four times. <laughs> You're back! Wanna play a game? Um, Lucia, I'm a little busy right now. Aww. Brave is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. See, that was- I don't- I didn't really listen to what you said, but it sounded aggressive. Oh. CRIMINAL! After ignoring his daughter's cry for help with a bully, Joe returned to Soaring and crafted two enhanced crossbows, giving one to Feindall. With armor-piercing capabilities, our crossbow was one step closer towards being a duck. Next, it was time to upgrade the ammo. I've got more leads on additional Dwemer plans. Additional Dwemer plans. Hmm. The Dwemer Exploding Firebolt schematic from Hrordolf's Hro house? We're going to someone's house? Who is Hrodolf? That's Solstheim? The house is in Solstheim? You gotta be shitting me! After Joe scrubbed Feindall's hard to reach places, they booked a cruise to the nearby tropical island. 
soul stein. Ah, soul stein. I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Uh, none of your business. That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. Shut up. I have business. Oh, that's pretty nearby. All right, we got to go to this little little beach house out on the coast. Oh. These people don't look right. Okay, we're, we're doing numbers. Feindal, you gonna help? Don't, don't look at me, look at them. Do you not know how to use a cross? Okay, maybe we should have taught him how to use a crossbow before we gave him one. They just... What? <laughs> they got, like, disarmed. That isn't is that supposed to happen? Wait, Feindal, I need you to do something. Pick that up. What? He picked it up. Grab that. I don't, I don't have a mod that adds those, I don't think. I think it's a bug. I don't even, they're, they're gone. Well, Feindal may or may not have some cool weapons in his pockets now, I guess. Already we had acquired some strange and rare loot from this land, but bugged war axes weren't the only valuables waiting for us. Ooh. Okay, you know what? While we're here, I definitely want to get some Nets jelly. Oh god, it's a family of three. Well, we'll do it like a true predator does in the wild. You have to take out the weakest link first. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, they can fly, but they can't descend small ledges. These things actually seem really kind of pathetic. This is sad. Oh. Baby, down. Easy clap. After collecting three nets jelly from our poaching endeavors, we made our way to Hrodolf's house. They're endangered? No, netches aren't endangered. They're an invasive species, guys. We're, we're doing the lands a favor cleaning them up. Trust me, guys. Netches, netches are bad for the environment. Oh, wait, a loot. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Oh, critical strike on Feindal. I'm sorry, Feindal. Oh, I disarmed him. He dropped his sword. Okay, I don't like that this one shoots fireballs. Stand still, will you? Feindal! Oh, wait, oh, I didn't hit him. Oh! Feindal's got his crazy weapon out. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Ew. This place is not well kept. Oh, Dark Elf. Yeah, this enhanced crossbow is very nice. Oh, the Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 2. I'll put that one in the, in the old back pocket for later. Letter. Yeah, actually, I don't want to read that. Reading hurts my brain. Looks like whoever lived here also <laughs> gets hurt by reading. They just threw all their books everywhere. Wait, where is the... Is there a schematic here somewhere? Wait, check behind the bookshelf? Oh, really? Of course, it's the damn books. Oh, I guess that was probably the hint, huh? I, I was literally commenting on it. I guess that's why all the books are on the floor. Ooh, eminent alchemy necklace? Exploding firebolt schematic. Yoink. With the main objective of our foreign invasion complete, we prepared for our trip back home. Oh, there's more endangered animal. I mean, there's more invasive animals up here. I we just have a quick little drink and deal with them, too. Ooh. Oh, this is strong. Oh, there's two babies. This is a family of four. Kill the children first. Break the parents' spirit. Oh, baby spotted. Deploying anti-child maneuvers. Easy clap. After collecting more jelly, we decided to stop by the market before leaving. Necklace of Eminent Magicka plus 50? I think I'm gonna get this. 50 Magicka seems like a lot. And then, with our newfound Magicka, it was time for a ritual. Bring to me my noble steed, in my desperate hour of need. Although I know you once were rotting, return to Nern to resume your trotting! Frost, Stage 2, Undead Nightmare, Secret Form, Hell Froze Over. He's as beautiful as I remember him.
If you guys didn't know, Arvac spelled backwards is Frost, actually. Ride! Ride, Frost! We celebrated our reunion with Frost by riding him across the ocean and back to Skyrim. Upon delivering the exploding bolt schematic, we were given our next orders and forgot to craft any of our cool new ammo before leaving. I think we've been to Swindler's Den before too. Isn't that where we fought the Red Guard warriors? Oh, it is. No, it is Swindler's Den. We've been there. On our way to the Whiterun Plains, we stopped by home to see our family. Where's my lovely daughter? There she is. Papa, you're home. I got you a present, Papa. I oh, hope really? You like it. Oh, I was feeling a bit hungry. Thank you, Lucia. That was delicious. I brought you nothing home. Brave is a big mean. She keeps telling Lars. The fox is on the do. bed. I don't want to play with her anymore. Oh, look at that. Adorable. After once again neglecting our daughter's struggles, we rode Frost to the next location. Frost, be quiet. I'm doing a stealth attack. Oh, and anybody have crossbow schematics in here? Oh, that guy doesn't. Oh shit, move, move. Miko, move, 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 move. Miko, Miko. Bad, bad, bad dog. Move, please. I can't see. Uh, is that the enemy? <laughs> Alright, great work, team. Oh, wait, my vision's better. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to- Oh, never mind. Good shot. Oh god, they're shooting at me. No! Alright, you know what? I've got way too much fear right now. Here's how you win a fight. You lose the second you show your fear. You face them bravely. Oh, damn it. No health potions? Ah, uh, we, have, we have health potions. We don't need them, though. We save those for real problems. Look, on, look at the screen right now and tell me Joe's not a perfectly healthy man. Owned. Oh my god, look at him go. Oh, wow, this dungeon's a lot easier when we don't have to fight seven red guards at the end. There's our schematic. Upon returning to Fort Dawnguard, we remembered this time to craft some exploding bolts, finally assembling the closest thing to a gun in Skyrim. Then, Soarin pointed us in the direction of some poor bandits to use them on. We just went full on scorched earth on these bandits. With a big iron on his hip, Joe once again returned home, now confident in his ability to protect his family with his Second Amendment rights. Papa, you're back. Hello, Lucia. Did you bring me anything? Oh, funnily enough, I did bring you something, actually. Some light literature. The Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 2. There you go, Lucia. Read up. Ah. Uh. Let me crack open a couple of ales here. Braith is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. What? You're telling me Braith has still been bullying you? Ugh. I've had about enough of this. I'm gonna go have a talk with her parents. Oh, hold on, I need a couple of ales to steady my hands here. I'm tired of hearing about my daughter getting bullied every day I come home. Y'all didn't raise your kid right. Ah, well, they had it. They had it coming. 